If you're currently struggling to get the FPS in Black Ops 6, which you used to have in MW3, here's the solution for you if you're running AMD. First thing you want to do is open up your Adrenaline software and go to Performance and Tuning. And within Global Tuning, what you want to try is you want to do an overclock of your GPU. Once the overclock is done, you will get here a value, which you will see here in like one second. All right, now you can see what the overclocked value of my GPU would be. In my case, it's 2940 and be careful, you know. Uh, if you update your driver, it, you know, it can go always up and down. Sometimes it's 3050, sometimes it's 2900. So there's always like some kind of margin of error in here. And what I usually do is I take always this value depending on the driver version that I have. And I have the most current one. If you don't have it, make sure that you download it and always make sure that you, first of all, deinstall the old one, run a DDU and then make a clean install. All right. Now that we know what our maximum, let's call it this way, overclocked, frequency can be i want to go here into my game settings and i have here of course the call of duty prepared like game settings so this is like my standard configurations that i have and as you can see i usually run with uh 2850 and 2950 like min max frequency and i have a voltage of 1140 this is you know i've been testing it so i know these values for sure and i know this is perfectly working yes sometimes i get like a freeze or sometimes the, the system breaks but this is more like to the whole system. I know this is a super stable build. In case it's not a stable build, I can still increase the voltage because my GPU is never going above 55 degrees Celsius. Um, what you also want to do is you want to increase your power limit. You can enable this by power tuning. Uh, if In case you ask yourself, okay, how do I get to the settings? Well, you have to select here manual uh, tuning on custom and then apply all the changes which you think are best working for you. Once again, you have to test a lot. So once you set up your like performance profile, what you want to do is as well is to go under gaming graphics and you want to do the following. You want to activate the AMD fluid motion frames. You want to put the performance mode to performance. Also the search mode to high. You want to have the anti lag activated. You want the radiant boost to be activated. Make sure that your maximum resolution change is scaled down to, to the lowest possible uh, value. And what you want is you want anti, uh, uh, any whatever it's called anisotropic, uh, anisotropic filtering activated and you want to set it to two. All right. The rest, make sure that you have it exactly set up as I have it here in my screenshots. Yeah. And this is the way to go. And now let's jump into the game settings for sure. Okay, boys, now you can see my graphic settings of the Black Ops 6. Uh, generally, what I'm doing when it comes to the quality is i have a custom preset of course my render solution is always like to my native solution um as upscaling i always use the fidelity cast don't play around with anything related to you know md or whatsoever you just lose a lot of image quality unless you have a low gpu uh, i always set it to 90 percent so that it's not getting too sharp for me vram scaling i always have it 80 when it comes to the multiplayer this is working perfectly fine and here you can see the rest, you know, basically everything put on low or disabled except texture, resolu uh, text texture resolution. I leave this at normal. I can also run it on high. It doesn't really matter much to me because I have a lot of VRAM. Um, what's most important is that you make sure that you have the shadow quality and all this tessellation stuff completely disabled. Otherwise, you know, this, this will just consume a lot of FPS and it will not really help you. And when it comes to the view, I'm running always on 120 F uh, FOV. Uh, when it comes to the uh, field of view, I always play it on independent. Yeah. Um, some say it's better to play it on affected. I don't know at the moment. Yeah, I still have to figure it out what's working best for me. But other than this, everything completely turned off. Yeah, you don't need anything on that one. And also like to give you an idea, okay, how it's really working. I will run the benchmark test just here straight for you so you can see it directly out of the recording and guys do me a big favor make sure that you hit the subscribe and like button i just want to spread as much as information as possible and you can help me with that That's the first time I'm actually running the benchmark task here in the Black Ops, so also kind of curious to see what's gonna turn out.
But I must say it's a pretty lame benchmark test. Modern Warfare had a little bit more action going on. <laughs> um. Bro, you would be dead by 10 times by now. Okay. Average FPS 256. Boom, there you go. As you can see, even my GPU is here the bottleneck, considering like 64%, um, which is okay to be honest. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm running a 7,900 XTX. You know, it's comparable like to the to the you know it's in between the 3070 Super and the 3080, so I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, still, super solid results. When I'm playing multiplayer, I'm get, getting up to 300. If you have any kind of questions when it comes to the AMD setup, just feel free to drop a message here directly below the video and I will try to help you and to explain you what kind of settings you can do uh, so you can get more FPS because I'm more like the AMD guy rather than the NVIDIA guy. So if you need anything, just let me know.